Джин Добре. Ако опит се да обкарам промасенцията. Hi, my name is Cornel. I'm an Adobe evangelist and today I will talk about Flex and Java. And uh, to clarify my uh, position name, I mean platform evangelist, it doesn't have anything to do with uh, some religious uh, cult, so it's just related to technical. Um, my presentation has two parts. The first one is a small introduction to the Flex framework, because I believe there are also some guys having zero knowledge. And after that, I will talk also about integration with uh, Java frameworks. Um, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to interrupt me. Also, don't wait for the end of my presentation. So anytime, if you feel something that is not clear, just, uh, just ask me. I don't have too many slides. Instead, I will show you more code and samples. Um, I hope that you enjoy it. I, I hate slides. I will go directly to the flex definition and we'll try to figure out what means. I will start with a little bit history related to the flash player. Uh, probably you know flash player is, is for a long time now on the internet market. It's, it was uh, the first version uh, was uh, done something in, uh, I believe, 97. So almost 12 years ago. At the beginning, just for some sample movies, uh, advertising, it was, it was hard to do development using the Flash Player, and it was not the intended scope. Probably if you ever, ever opened the Flash authoring tool, you know what I mean. It's a tool which cannot be used by a developer. After seven years, in 2004, Macromedia started to work on Flex. What is Flex? It's a new language or it's a new player. No, it's uh, something like, I like to use um, association with the Java world. It's like Swing. It's a graphical framework for the Java world. Flex is a graphical framework for the Flash platform. So it's not a new language. It uses the same language, ActionScript 3. It's a huge framework used for, by developers to develop applications. I told you, if you ever open Flash or the authoring tool, you know that in Flash Player it's very hard to work as a developer because it's based on the um, frames concept. It's uh, in, uh, trying to develop some application in Flash. It's like trying to work in uh, Givi Basic with Go to and everything else. And uh, I will show you a small application called Tour de Flex with the main concept of this uh, graphical framework. It's a free application, you can download it from the web, and I encourage you to do that if you ever plan to do some work in Flex. It proves the main concept from this framework, and it, uh, it can show you a nice view of the main concept, so you will know what are the components, what you can do, and what you cannot do. I will just offer you a small introduction to this component. Uh, depends on the network speed, it can work fast or slower, because most of the components are taken from the net. So if you are a Swing developer, probably you will recognize all these components. Exist also in Swing. So you can do any kind of input data control. You also have trees, advanced data grids. You can do like in Swing, uh, things like uh, using custom item renderers for something like displaying uh, trees in a cell of a grid. So you can do whatever you want. It also has uh, some... Uh, if you know Swing, probably you remember about the famous uh, grid back layout. It was the hardest layout uh, used by <laughs> developers in order to do application which should work on different resolution and with uh, localization. In Flex, you also have layouts but are called containers and they are the same thing. Uh, but in my opinion, it's a bit easier to use. You can take a look on uh, all of them. I just uh, want to present you the main things. You also have effects. Probably you will not use them if you do an uh, enterprise application, but um, uh, are nice to use for other kind of things. And you also have goodies like formatters, validators, and a huge uh, number of components related to charting. 
What is important to notice is that uh, Flex is free, so you don't have to pay anything in order to use these components. You also have effects for charting and uh, other things. Uh, there are also some uh, samples in this application related to communication with the main service providers like Amazon, eBay, and all, all the other ones. So if you ever have to do uh, work in Flex and you have to connect to one of these service providers, you should ju just go into the Flex and take the code sample from here. And I will uh, show you a sample. Let's say we'll search for... Um, Mm, let's wait for the components to be loaded. And I for search, I will search for the uh, com conference or maybe for this town. Let's see. Or maybe I will just search for Java. What is also very important to notice is the source code. And you can see you have just right to 100 uh, lines of code and you will do an application which knows how to show you uh, things from uh, Amazon. Another uh, interesting thing are the components developed by iLog. Uh, probably you know iLog has developed components also for Java, Java World. We have to little bit patience in order to load it, to be loaded from internet. We see the network is too slow in order to show you these components. I will try with a smaller one. Okay, it seems to be loading. Okay. It's important to notice that if you are a Flex developer, you can add your own components to this application. So it's open uh, to adding new things, and you can, you can promote your work by using it. And you can do things like that. I will be go back to my slides, and I will move to the most important slide related to Flex. And is it, uh, using this slide, I hope that you will have a clear image of what means Flex. For the beginning, there are so two languages. Maybe you will ask, what do I need two languages in order to work in Flex? And the answer is simple if, for example, you have knowledge of Java, FX, Silverlight, you know that everyone is uh, moving to using some kind of declarative language. Maybe you as a Java developers are a little bit, uh, let's say, afraid. I was at the beginning. Why should I use a declarative language? The advantage is that if, if you have to do a graphical interface, it's much easier to do it in this way, and also you can use a, design, a designer to do it. If you don't have to do graphical interfaces, or your, if your graphical interface is extremely complex, maybe it's not the best idea. I will show you a sample in order to have a better understanding of what means using um, declarative language. I will open uh, the Flex ID. And you can look here the file with the extension MXML. That's a sample of declarative language. You can do things like taking controls, dropping on design view. And if you look at the source code, you see that you have some new MXML tags. This means a declarative language. OK, it's a nightmare if your graphical interface is very complex and if you also have much, a lot of dynamic things. <coughs> 